Should we get into some news? First. I've just seen the picture. <laughs> what have you found? The latest innovation in aerodynamic cycling backpacks has finally arrived. Yes, Francis, your prayers have been answered. <laughs> you've been asking this for decades. As long as I've known you, you've wanted a product like this. You even considered developing one yourself, but now you don't need to. It is here. I'm not joking. This may be the wildest thing I've ever seen in my life. A few of you have flagged it to us. It's called the RAF One by Ram Air Fairing. And according to their website, it is the ultimate lightweight air-filled backpack. <laughs> I think it probably is. That's a fair claim. <laughs> <laughs> the design of it is bold, to say the least. It's essentially a massive inflatable fairing that sits on your back and looks like a humongous shark fin. Or maybe like an aeroplane wing. Yeah, it's not quite a shark fin, is it? It's more than that. <laughs> it's more than a whale fin, perhaps. <laughs> if, if you were a cartoon and you were going fast, it would be like the lines that are off behind you. It's, mm, it's huge. That comic book thing. Yeah, mm. but also it, it refers to itself as a backpack. And when I was looking at this story, I thought it was a backpack as in like, you know, you can put your lunch in there. You can put your clothes for commuting to the office. It's not actually a backpack as in to hold things. You could put loads of things in there as long as the things are a gas. <laughs> right okay yeah mm. like farts <laughs> get your mind out of the gutter jimmy i was thinking about my like helium and stuff like keeping the fridge <laughs> what, what is the purpose of this uh it is to make you more aerodynamic than ever right <laughs> it probably works it also has like, a secondary <laughs> feature so as well as offering drag, drag reduction it is also being marketed as a safety airbag. Right. Hmm. But presumably you can't use these in races, can you? This has got to be banned. Depends on the race. Well, there, I imagine there's some bike packing y stuff or like audax y things you could use it on. But it, it's definitely not going to be okay in UCI events or like proper bike racing, like oh. drop bar road racing. It's not I wonder where the line is. With it. So in gravel racing, everyone uses camelbacks. And a lot of the reason for using a camelback is okay, it's a little bit extra water and easy to get when you're on the when you're racing hard but um most of the camelbacks that they use now at the top level make you faster so some of them are like built into your skin suit and then some of them are just faster than not wearing one in the first place but where's the line well here. you can't argue this that is that's the anything line. other than yeah we've <laughs> we've reached the, the line, line. <laughs> <laughs> we've just a bit of a balloon in in here <laughs> Well, I would I would imagine in some cases there will be bladder packs where they are filled with air rather than water because obviously it's air fast. is lighter yeah. than water. People do that weird thing. They put things down the front of their skin suits to make them faster. Yeah. Didn't that get banned or in some I place, some things yeah, it's banned, you, you it? get in trouble for it sometimes. I think I think some of that has come about from the triathlon world as well because there's definitely loads of stuff in the tri world. So, so triathlon is not regulated in the same way as road racing is. So they can often do things that are a bit more extreme. And there was definitely stuff about people having like big bottles in, on their chest stuff. And I think that even they're considering or have banned things in different stuff. So a lot of it will come from those kind of things. And I think it's really good, though, that people are exploring innovation. But it's in aerodynamics, which I feel like is your least favorite thing, spending money on weird things to go faster. Well, yeah, I, I don't like it. For me, this is not a... Well, to be honest, I probably would buy this product for <laughs> lols just to wind people up. <laughs> Look at that guy. <laughs> the thing is, I feel like I'm being gaslit by their website because it keeps referring to this as being stylish. And I don't know whether this is a sort of psychological... If you say it enough. Exactly. We were talking about this last week. If you say something enough, people will believe you. The website says the air-filled backpack embodies the perfect fusion of performance, style and sustainability. Combining functionality and bold fashion, our backpack is designed with contemporary aesthetics to complement your cycling gear and enhance performance. It allows you to express your unique style while providing a stylish accessory that seamlessly blends form and function on every ride. That is the biggest load of <laughs> trout I've ever heard in my life. What are you life. talking about? They've done a white one for white jerseys and black one for black jerseys. It's very and helmets. It match your helmet. It's What's bogus. sustainable about it? It's a big piece of pl plastic, plastic bag. It, yeah, that's true. Yeah, there's a lot about eco-friendly and sustainability. You'd be a lot more sustainable what? if you didn't have it. For anyone who's listening, just Google RAF One or Ram Airfaring and have a look at this thing. It is huge. It's the kind of thing that I imagine there's cycling brands out there going like, "Ooh, this is great. We can brand that." 
Imagine the size of the logo you can slap on oh, the side of that. Yeah. Do, you, do, you think it, do you think it's like those Uber Eats bags that have like inspired this? You know, the delivery people oh, with do the they massive advertise backpacks. On the back? Yeah, yeah. Because it's basically that, but in a different shape, isn't it? If you're interested in performance, you want something that you can use in racing. If this is banned from most races, which I assume it would, who is this for? Because the the people on the on the photo, it's two guys who just look like they're out for like a nice jolly ride, but then they've got these massive things on their back. Like, in what scenario are you using this? Mm. The the other thing as well, if we really want to talk aero, if you were in an aero optimized position, that fairing is pointing nearly up in the air. Probably less aero. Exactly. Yes. So it's it's specifically aimed at people who sit quite upright on a bike. In a non-aero position. In a non-aero position. Not everyone can sit to tolerate a very aero position, Jimmy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they're probably not racing, are they? Well, what if they want to be included? This allows them to be. It's excellent. I want one. This allows I'm them going to be included in aero. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we, we currently don't have a price for this, do we? It's on... It's, it's showing us sold out. I think that's actually because it hasn't gone on sale yet. It, they no, say it's because it's a... so popular, Emily. <laughs> it's been sold out already. Perhaps. It's quite striking, but it's no more silly than wearing a big, long pair of aero socks. It's, significant. it's probably No, that is... That is a, <laughs> the, um, I have to pull you up on that. Why? That is an outrageous statement. This is no more silly than wearing socks. Big, long aero ones, yeah. What? Or what about a base layer that's a crop top? Underneath your I guess you can't top. see it, yeah. But so you're worried about what people think of you when you're riding long? No, 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 no. It, this is ridiculous in compared to aero socks because you're putting socks on regardless. You're not putting, you're not going to, just before you go out riding, pump up your tyres, pump up pump your up aero your pack. pack. <laughs> no, is that how you do it? Or do you do? <laughs> I hope at the, at the very least they have considered that the target audience is cyclists and they'll be, they will have a, some form of pump and you can actually, I bet it doesn't even have an adapter for a pump. It'll be, it's like, it's basically part of like an inflatable bed that they've stuck on their back. Mm. That's sick. I'm the target market. <laughs> you are the target market. We know what That's we're true. getting Francis for Christmas then. <laughs> Way more convenient than a TT bike. Uh, significantly slower. Definitely slower. <laughs> <laughs> you know it. Funnily enough, we tested, um, the closest thing I have seen tested in front of my eyes to this is the tail fin in a wind tunnel. Yeah. And b by just putting a tail fin, which is basically a seat pack on your bike, a tail fin with stuff in it is more aerodynamic than not a tail fin at all because it extends the... Shape yes. of your body. Yeah, which I think which is, is the exactly same, what they're doing the here. Thing if you look this. at the um the world speed record for mountain biking downhill, something like that. I'll find it. It's basically a guy in a red suit with fairings all over the suit. And mm -hmm. that reminds me of this as well. It mm. looks absolutely ridiculous, but he's so, so fast. So if he was, you know, he didn't care what people think of him, Jimmy. Mm -hmm. He'd be riding down the street here in Newcastle in the middle, Grey Street, so fast. Yep. In fact, you'd be going so fast wearing one of these, no one's gonna see you. You'd just be a blur, <laughs> like the flash. Like a cartoon character running. Correct. All they'll see is that the trail behind. <laughs> I think, and we've talked about this numerous times, we need to go back to the wind tunnel. And we 100% should do a video where we specifically test outrageous aero products. Well, yeah, we've done the sensible one. Yeah, we need to do the... Which was which was entertaining as it was. The crazy one. We need to do the crazy stuff. Yeah, yeah. I think it will be faster because of it what will, you said. Yeah. A fairing on the back it, is faster. but it's, it's, it's likely it will in, a, in an upright position. I know aero coach are up for that as well. Yeah, definitely. They let us do a big inflatable <laughs> suit. Do you not just fly away? Uh, it was quite um, flappy. Okay. Mm. 